Yeah, do a bit updating Sunny Jai here. I've been working on my old trailer today and uh, I've done a bit of repair and what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna get all this panel all bogged up. I have to get the straight line here done with, with this line here and try to float it all in but we have to use a bit of plastic surgeon here a bit of bog or a body filler but it doesn't matter it's just an old trailer right so we're gonna do this tomorrow I'm gonna cut this rust out it's a big hole as you can see and cut that out shape up a panel put it in and I just try to eventually this is gonna be painted green the same as the green jag why well, I try a bit paint on here with the repair and see what it comes up because I put a lot of body filler on spray prime primer and body filler on I just want to see if it's gonna work that's the light fill light body filler and eventually this is gonna be fitted in somehow I haven't worked it out yet but I will and I have to shape a panel down here, come around, follow the shape here and fill up in here. And then probably the corner here has to be filled up somehow with a piece. But now I have to hand form a piece. Uh, I haven't got no wheeling machine or nothing, you know, so it would have to be the old bushwhack away bash it on a panel and fit it but so I got this just a bit sanding here and this doesn't quite fit because all the welding are done on the back it's crank the panel so they have a bit of different gap here so what I do I put a piece in here bit of board and then cut with the jigsaw to shape and then I fill it up with a bit of body filler along there to make an even gap. It doesn't matter, you know. You, it's just an old trailer. And eventually, this is at the moment is my toolbox. As you can see, all the stuff in here. But the back panel there had to be cut out, and then I'm gonna drop the floor down to go just on top of the back axle so maybe if someone want to buy it or sell it or for myself put a mattress in there and stick your head in there and go go to bed <laughs> so the, this been painted now but the color between here and up on the roof here, you know, is different. Just a touch should be a bit darker. But you can see all these dints on the roof, the poor shed, the beams fall down, the white ends took all the beams, and all the beams come down and hit the roof on it. So what I have to do, I have to cut this all along here and then take my spear roof and weld it all in. So instead of trying to hammer all these dints up and uh, bog them up, it might be easier to cut it out all along here and then use a tool with a step on on the panel you know you go along and you step the panel and put another roof on and you go along and tack weld it up to get it in shape and then weld it it's all dust today but as you can see here i don't know if you can see it on your video but the different color between there and there is all you know, it's a lot lighter and this is a bit darker, so 
Once I get all the panel repair done, I will spray the whole car with the right color. Down the track somewhere. <laughs> okay, take care. And then one more thing. I like Brenda's work, what she does. Good luck to her. And keep up the good work and keep them posted on the app updating new projects and all that I love your work you're really good good craftsman you know I like you the way you do works and I wish I could do the same uh, sunny day here I've been watching uh, all this my tube or whatever you call it. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and the all the rust removal with the molasses and the vinegar and I didn't believe in it at first, but it does work. So what I've been doing I got twenty liter molasses, twenty bucks, and a bit of vinegar and I mixed it up in this container. And all these tools, they've been lying here and the shed been leaking all the water and all the rust. So what I did here, you rub it, you leave it in for a, probably a couple of weeks, will be better, but it definitely works. You rub it on, take it out, rinse it off with water and then you paint it or whatever you want. And this pipe wrench here, it's a big Swedish one. You've got an adjustment here. You can, but it was all rusted up and really bad. But you can see here what, what the molasses done, just, done to it. Just bring it out so I don't know. Yeah. Mm. You see all this rust here. But this part here has been laying in the molasses for two days now. As you can see, the rust start to eat away. So if I leave it another one or two weeks, it will all come nice and clean, and then you can paint it and get everything working. It definitely works every so often. You take it up and you give it a bit of rub. As you can see here, it does all come nice and clean after a while. I did not believe this was going to work, but it de definitely works. So what I'm going to do on the XCA40, I got water leak coming from the windscreen and the front of the windscreen is all rusted out, which one day going to be fixed. When it rains, the water runs down on the floor. So what I'm thinking to do is get some molasses and put it underneath the floor mat and paint the floor with it and let it sit for you know whatever it takes to I get it fixed and hopefully it will eat the rust away but it definitely works you know it's all this sandblasting and all that you don't need that all you need a bit you take about two liter molasses and about three four liter of white vinegar and you mix it all and just let it soak for one or two weeks or whatever it takes and I saw on YouTube Gib Gibson I think his name is he had a door from a car which he soaked for a certain amount of time and when he cut all the panels out and do the rust repair all the rust was gone, gone even where the double panel was so I reckon that's the way to do it instead of sandblasting and all this because when you sandblast you still don't get in between you know all the double panels and all that so if you soak it long enough and then paint it so what's molasses made from Sonny? it's uh, from the sugar cane it's a byproduct from sugar cane so when they do making sugar and they usually use of a cattle feed they feed in the cattle with it and it's about a dollar a liter here I paid 
20 bucks for 20 liter and they probably lost me for another six seven months <laughs> oh I just try this old bushwhackers way you know to do things and you, you know we all got this modern equipment and you got the soda blaster which I would like to have one of them but or same blaster but you do what you have to do with whatever tools you got you know and this one of them projects and Bree here gonna have another project in front of him got all these bricks him. from a, him yeah her. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Her. She got all the bricks. That's okay, people. I'm yeah. transgender. Yeah. And she got all the bricks. And this from the old town. They were too slippery for people to walk and they redesigned re them all. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, instead of concreting the shed inside, we're gonna take them bricks. And put them up here. Make it men's shed, or we can a men's cave, or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it in America, but men's cave they call it in Australia. You have all your little gadget, your collectible things up on the roof, and the number plates, and all that. And, and, and this plate here, that's where Bree and my stepdaughter was working up Cameron's corner. That's the end of the earth. It's all the border meets up in one point. South Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, they all meet up in one corner and it's way, way in the outback. Only tourists with four wheel drives and on the camper trailer come through. Alright, I'll keep you updated when I start to cut the rust out in the bonnet. Take care, look after yourself, look after your partner as well. All the best.